We've been looking for the perfect camping spot for the last five, six, seven years now. What makes a good camping spot? In my opinion, you have to have water, preferably with fish in it. Well, definitely with fish in it, because this all started off as a fishing trip. It's got to be secluded. I don't want to see other people while I'm out there. And it's got to be legal. I don't want to be looking over my shoulder the whole time. So, pretty much any state forest in New York State, it's legal to do primitive camping. And that's what this is. According to the map, this should be an easy paddle, about two-thirds of a mile down this windy creek, or 3,182 feet. The creek opens up into a swampy lake of sorts, where you'll see a large beaver lodge. Hang a left, promptly arrive at the campsite on the right. Should be easy. Dam. Approximately 3 minutes and 26 seconds into our trip, we've hit a beaver dam. We're doing it. A click up and over, and we're back on our way. Smooth sailing from here on out, I can feel it. Or something like that. Wow, this scenery is just amazing.
Overall, we crossed six beaver dams and it took us roughly an hour and a half to get to our campsite. With the sun quickly setting, it was dinner time. That's the butter. There's the butter. <laughs> <laughs> Wrap it up. Mm. Smells good, man. Oh, we should have threw some cheese in there. Mmm, nom nom, nom nom, nom nom, beefy. With full bellies and the cool night air upon us, we reminisce about past camping adventures, make plans for tomorrow, and we feed the mosquitoes. After coffee and Pop-Tarts, we're eager to get out in the water, do some fishing, and explore the area. Obligatory bite on camera. Three, two, one. No, they don't. Unless you're like Guy Fieri. Yeah, Guy Fieri. <laughs> Never taking your shoes off. When most people go camping, they look for a spot you can pull up to with your minivan and load all your crap and cook some hot dogs. That's just not what we're into. For us, the journey out there is just as important as the spot we're going to. We're after more adventure, more solitude, the better fishing spots. We're trying to find those places where maybe nobody's been to in five, ten years. Places with no cell phone signal, no running water, no porta potty, no predetermined campsites with fire pits that are all ready to go. 
no firewood for sale down the road. All you have is what you brought in with you and what's provided by the land around you. The kind of place you'd see on a calendar or read about in an outdoor magazine. Places you can only get to by boat. Places where it's still wild. Now as our time here comes to an end and we go to sleep for the night, I wouldn't say that we're filled with dread, but maybe the hesitation to leave. Not only because we don't want to go back to the real world, but when we found this place, we came in the way that we're going out, and it is rough. But what we'll find out tomorrow is all this is for no reason. We've had a lot of rain recently, and it's washed out most of the dams on our way out. I think there's only one we actually had to get out of the boat for. Thank <laughs> you.